Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so in today's video, what we're gonna do, we're gonna exchange over this boiler's heat exchanger plate. So you know, for the hot water and the central heating. So this is what it looks like. This is it, this is a heat exchanger. So you've got the four holes for the hot water and the heating flow and turn. So it's very easy to install. Comes with the rubber washers and it's two screws. So you got one screw there and one screw there. So you got one side screws on the diverter valve, you know, for hot water and the central heating diverter valve. And then you got this side, which is the pump side, three way diverter. Uh, so literally one screw there. Can you see that little screw on the left, the small one? That screws onto the heat exchanger plate. And the same on this one here. This, this small screw here, this one here, that one there. So you open those two screws, take the heat chain there out, and you can lift it uh, over the side this way, past the motor. Now I'm just gonna swap this over. So the first things first, is just drain this, uh, the boiler, so all the water that's in the heat exchanger. So you can do this, uh, so the first things first, check, turn the, the floor and turn off. So that's the that's a flow, that's a return. Turn it off, turn the mains water off, but you can also turn it off here and then drain the system. Okay, so you've got the rubber drain pipe connected, orange pipe. Connect that into the that valve here, open it up anti clockwise. And there you go, draining off and right into the sink. So let all the water come out uh, from the expansion vessel and all the heat exchanger and then once it's all done then we'll take it out. So I got this from City Plumbing Supplies, uh, so it's just £60, so it's for the Baxi, Baxi main, so if you look at the uh, model, Baxi main combi 30 eco and it's um, so yes, it's, it's a reasonable part. I mean, you know, I, I found a local supplier and there's a lot more. So, you know, the best deal was city plumbing. Okay, so before we take the heat exchanger off, can you see that silver plate? So we need to make room to take it out. So what you do is you take out the motor from the diverter valve. So you pull this clip and then the diverter valve comes off. No, sorry, the, the motor comes off at the top in there. There you go. Put that to a side. It just frees up the space to get you know your hand around like that to pick the plate up. So that's the plate we're changing. You see the heat exchanger plate? That's the one. Okay. Okay, so you loosen the screws. There's one screw on this side. And then one screw on this side. Okay, once you do that, you just pull it away. Okay. Okay, so there's the old one. So what was happening is the hot uh, cold water was getting to the return valve of the heating system. So there's, a, there's an internal leak within this heat exchanger. Because obviously if you think about your main pressure, it's higher than your your heating pressure. So that that's forced its way through. And it could be, you know, because obviously lime scale build up. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to take the old rubber washers off 
uh, from the diode but at the back and put the new ones in. I mean, a lot of people don't do this, but I'd rather put new rubber washers in at the same time. Okay, so take those out. And put the new ones in. So there's four rubber washers. Okay, and once you've done that, is simply put the plate back in and then ready to repressurize. Okay, so here's a new one. Just line it up and that's it, put screws back in. Okay, so I'll put the other screw back in here. So I'll keep tightening it equally, so not both at the same time. So one at a time. And gradually try and bring it back together equally. Yeah, can you see it? So that's the flat no feet plate. Let's see if we can see the other side. It's nice and tight. Okay, that's it. Okay, so I'll put the motor back on for the diverter valve. Plug that back in, and then don't forget the clip. So push that same time. Push that down. And that slots into place. That's like so. Can you see that plate? So that holds the motor down. Push that clip back in. There you go. So it won't move. That's it, guys. So it's all done. So that's a new heat exchanger on the vacuum boiler. So you know it's not it's not difficult at all. It's just two screws, and that should solve the problem of the pressure and uh, getting from the cold into the heating system. Okay, so close off the drain off. So clockwise. That's it, so that's, see that drain off there? So make sure that's all closed off and uh, clockwise. And then now we're just going to turn the valves back on. They're flow on turn. And then the coals and water mains. And then let's see what, and then repressurize the system again. Turn the water back on. Open the floor and turn. And let's see if the pressure stays stable now with the new heat exchanger. Bleed it slightly. Just, just let the air out. Okay, so check for any leaks. Behind, looks all good. Let's 
check at the back, make sure there's no water coming out. Check the seals, yep, yeah. nice and tight. Okay, give it a bit of a top up. Yeah, one bar, there you go. So keep it one bar and then uh, turn the electrics back on and then we'll start it up, see where we are. Okay, turn the boiler on. Okay. 